In the greatest Jewish city in the world, in the mid-1920s, when Harry Golden was a young man, the theater was an extraordinarily popular entertainment among the Jewish immigrants. There were 12 Yiddish theaters, and they were packed week after week. Now only four are left. At one, the Mayfair on West 46th Street, a recent production was the Rebbitson from Israel. <laughs> The stars of this production were Pesach Burstein, a legend among Yiddish theater lovers, and his equally legendary wife, Lillian Lux. The material has been updated to contemporary times, but the wit, style, and zest are unmistakably Yiddish theater. The Jews were great theater goers. The first words the Jewish immigrant learned was benefit. You bought all the tickets and sold them to your friends and to your relatives, and you made a profit on it, and the profit went to a charity. It was a mitzvah to buy tickets. A mitzvah is a good deed to be recorded in heaven. Nine out of 10 Jews went to the theater, whereas only one Jew out of 10 went to the synagogue. Friday and Saturday nights were the big nights, even though it was the Sabbath and it meant that both of the Orthodox had to walk to the theater instead of riding. Shabbat, 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 Shabbat. Lo, wein Eden, Shabbat. When an actor appeared on the stage smoking, the Orthodox audience would go boo, 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 smoking on the Sabbath. And the actor was startled to look at the Orthodox who should have been a shul at that very time. Most of the audience was composed of young boys and young girls who remembered their parents back home who would send them on to America. And the Thalia Theater was filled with shop girls crying their eyes out every Saturday afternoon, listening to Lucy Gammon sing Abika Mama, Eternal Mother. was also the place to meet girls. The shotgun, the matchmaker, was evident in the theater. She'd give one ticket to a girl and another ticket to the boy, where they would meet in the theater, sit next to each other, and there was no commitment yet. They could look at each other and decide they want to meet again, in which case there was a commitment. And if she invited them up to dinner on a Friday night, the deal was made. It was a deal. The Yiddish theater was a cross between a soap opera and a university. It portrayed the struggle between the older generation and the new generation. 